Empanadas down to the Caballeros. Well, I just arrived through the small town of Curuti, which is about 35 minutes from San Gil. And today I'm just going to make a fairly short video. It's part of my search for uh, a nice small town and possibly a little piece of property somewhere in Colombia in the future. So, like I said, I'm just going to keep this fairly short and simple. Show you some of the highlights. This is a a very unique Parque Principal with these uh, interesting looking characters representing uh, I guess some of the main props and things that Kuruti is famous for that looks like it's cacao obviously a woman about to brutally kill a chicken <laughs> and I'm not sure who that is up there but uh, Anyway, this is the Parque Principal, very nice. One of the nicer Parque Principal, very green and clean. And here we have the, the main cathedral. Some vendors. And let's take a wander around. What I remember from last time is that there's a lot of artisans shops here. Not sure why, but I guess artisans do tend to congregate in one town if they... Well, there's other artisans, like-minded people. So this seems to be pretty typical of the buildings. A little bit of color. Certainly not as colorful as towns like Salento and Jardin in Antioquia, but still fairly nice. Back that way you can see the uh, cathedral. So I just came from down there and just happened to uh, bump into one of the <coughs> young ladies who worked at a restaurant. She told me about uh, lunch for 12,000 pesos. So seem friendly enough so I think I'll head back there in a half an hour to show you what I get for lunch for 12,000 pesos which is less than four dollars Canadian less than three dollars US as usual I like to just uh, head towards at least one edge of town show you what the, uh, the surrounding scenery looks like so that's what I'm up to at the moment and just coming down around the corner into the outskirts of town now I don't know if this is the way to the river or not, but this, this little town has two main things that people come for. One is, uh, I think it's Rio Pescador, which is river of fish basically. And the other ones that I haven't been to yet is uh, La Cueva de la, de, la Seba, de la Vaca, which means the cave of the cow. And. Uh, didn't look too exciting, that's why I haven't been, but I have been to the river. You'll see in the opening clip, my intro, uh, me tubing down a river with uh, three girls, <laughs> all basically connected with their tubes. That's uh, the river that I'm talking about. So I might wander for about 15 minutes. And it's always interesting to see the outskirts. Just had somebody say hello, hello. Now that's a set of stairs. Now I don't know if this is somebody's former house, but if so, that's pretty small. But we are getting into some pretty, pretty small homes down here. So 
I'm pretty sure this is the way to the river because I remember going around a really sharp bend in the road back there. But it's, uh, as I recall, it's definitely too far to walk. I've got six hours if I want to here, but uh, I'm just planning on spending a couple hours having lunch, wandering around a little bit. But uh, as you can see from the sign, glamping, I guess this is the place here. Glamping is becoming very popular down here as are eco lodges, which is, well, the eco lodge part is great to see. The glamping, well, that's just a glorified version of camping. I think there's a little creek down there. As you can see again, the soils has a very orangish hue to it, which quite frankly, I don't know exactly what that means for what the minerals are in it, iron perhaps. But I can always do with a nice nature walk, so I'll keep going for a little bit more. I just managed to find exactly what I was hoping to find, which is a, a vista point, viewpoint, from up on the hill here. So right in the center of the screen, right now that's the uh, Plaza Principal. So as you can see, I've already walked a couple of kilometers. Now let's go up the hill a little bit more. See if there's even a better viewpoint of the other direction. But uh, it's just small rolling mountains in this area. No big mountains in the immediate vicinity. Hopefully I can find out the price of what a hectare costs. With a hectare being about 2.3-ish acres. Uh, brick is the general go-to thing for constructing homes here, as, is, as it is in many areas in Colombia. Rather old looking house there. Just passed by a very friendly lady carrying a bucket of corn. So obviously they grow corn here, which is actually what I was about to get to next was what do I see that they're growing around here? I've seen plantain, banana plants, uh, sugar cane. Looks like we're uh, coming to the top of a hill here where my mission might be accomplished of a, a view. This is as far as I'm going to go. Just showing you the flora and fauna of the mountains. As you can see, it's kind of not very green. A lot of dead foliage over there. Towns down there. I want to point out this tree here in particular because it's a variety of pine that I've seen in several locations. Normally, those pine trees, however, are a little higher up in altitude, so I'm kind of surprised to see it here, but that's the only one I've seen so far. But uh, if I'm being honest, it's not my favorite flora and fauna and trees. I've seen areas, for instance, San Vicente de Chucuri, the drive up to San Vicente, the flora and fauna is just something really beautiful about it. But anyway, I'm gonna head back into town and check out the lunch place. This is just on the other side of the road. Somebody's growing some crops here. I'm not quite sure what they are, but uh, I also wanted to point out these uh, beautiful reddish pink flowers. I think that Columbia has pretty much every color of flower under the rainbow in trees down here. It's quite beautiful. Uh, I was going to mention while I think of it too that uh, it's about same temperature here as it is in Sand Hill, which is about 28 degrees Celsius today, but uh, not too humid, a little bit of a breeze, so it's fairly comfortable once you get used to 28 Celsius. And this is the place, Sazon Curiteño, comida típico, it means food typical of the area, so let's check it out, what's their menu of the day here. Chicken, pollo sudado, that's chicken, carne, bistec, that's uh, meat, pechuga, pechuga. Okay, let's go.
de postre muestro con pollo sudado, alitas barbecue, pechuga a la plancha, milanesa, hígado encebollado, lomo de cerdo, mojarra frita, carne asada, carne en bistec, pechuga hawaiana, costillita barbecue, sobre barriga y cabro con pepitorio. Siento que pechuga hawaiana. ¿Una pechuga hawaiana? Sí. Lunch has arrived. This is Hawaiian chicken. Some cheese on there. Some looks like some lentils, plantains, salad, rice, and a vegetable soup. Orange juice. So lunch was actually pretty good, but it did turn out to be fifteen thousand instead of twelve thousand <clears throat> because, as she explained, it's a it was a different meal than what she was describing earlier. Anyway, it's uh, about twelve thirty and. A lot of the stores, they shut down for an hour or two, maybe even around lunchtime, so it's pretty quiet right now. And this appears to be the local soccer field. Not the fanciest pitch, but at least it looks pretty level. So in case you haven't noticed, I've, uh, if the picture looks a little bit different, it's because I wasn't really planning on making a vlog today. So I only brought the one battery for my GoPro and it is already, <laughs> it's already almost run out of power. So I'm just going to be able to do my, my finish with the GoPro at the very end. So that's why things aren't quite as smooth as they are with the GoPro, etc. I appear to be on another outer edge of town, the opposite side of before. And it's about four blocks away from the Plaza Principal. tourism outfits, Cueva de la Vaca, Torrentismo, that's Patapente, paragliding. So this is just down the uh, street from the main plaza. In case you're interested. Right up the hill there is Plaza Principal. And right over there is all new subdivision. As you can see right there, there's a whole bunch of oranges growing. Got a little swimming pool down there, so I guess that's a hotel. Yeah, all that up there is new development. And so I think the coup de tea is growing pretty quickly. The 360 view of the park before I uh, sign off. <clears throat> the restaurant is just up that way, a block and a half, with the cathedral being right there. For the most part, Kuruti is just a regular, normal functioning town with a little bit of tourism thrown in. With the river being one of the spots you can go to to cool off on a nice warm day like today. And the cost to get here from Sand Hill was only 6,000 pesos, which is less than $2 Canadian, $1.25 US or thereabouts. So, very economical. Okay, down with the caviados, time to wrap things up for my little trip to Curiti. So, what do you think of this place, uh, Senora? Oh, que lindo, Senora. Yeah, I agree, it's a pretty little town. So, on behalf of all these characters and myself, remember, there's new you in Colombia, but hopefully you can come visit this beautiful country someday. And thanks for watching. Until next time. Hopefully you won't be as bored as this guy. Hasta las tacos. Ciao. On the bus we go every 20 minutes to San Diego.